Well, the debate stems from the, the, success, uh, the success of oil palm development, especially in Southeast Asia. In just a few years, uh, millions of hectares have been converted into oil palm plantations. And this, this is where the controversy started be between uh, the, the sector, the pros, the, the, the industrial sector, and the cons, that is the environmental groups. Well, the debate is very contentious uh, between the pros and the cons, and uh, this is why there is a, a need for a more balanced view, and this is where scientists uh, come in and uh, provide a, a real balanced view between the, the good sides and the bad sides of, uh, of oil, palm, oil palm development. Well, we, we decided to, uh, to, to go down to the arena when, uh, when the, uh, some uh, extremist radical environmental groups uh, decided to, uh, to uh, boycott all palm or try to, to boycott all palm, which according to us is, uh, is a very bad solution because it has more, uh, more, more uh, um, negative effects than, uh, than positive because replacing oil palm with uh, other crops, for instance, would be uh, disastrous to the forests. We were quite surprised because for, uh, during, let's say, the last 10 years, every time somebody, we tried to defend oil palm as a uh, as an interesting crop for smallholders or, or for, uh, for the environment also, uh, we were thrown uh, shoes at. And uh, quite uh, surprisingly, the, the time has come now because people don't believe anymore in everything which is said, uh, either by the, the pros and the cons, and people were looking for this balanced view. And we, we, we had very positive reactions. And, uh, and the, the book was sold out in uh, one, one and a half months. Quite, uh, quite nice. We're not always uh, that, that uh, successful. Well, there, there are many. I say the first, uh, the, the first thing is that uh, Old Palm originates from the countries uh, bordering the Gulf of Guinea in uh, central, Western Central Africa. So Old Palm uh, grows spontaneously in the tropical forest. And uh, it's only later that, uh, thanks to its success, uh, that it became an industrial crop. And uh, people forget that in the start, Old Palm was a non-timber forest product. That's one reason. Uh, this, uh, the other, probably one of the most interesting fact about Old Palm is that it's the highest yielding oil producing crop uh, so far, and uh, number two uh, is uh, is uh, eight to ten times less productive. So if you try to replace oil palm with soybean, for instance, you need eight to ten times more land. You need to convert eight to ten times more forests. Well, the answer is uh, yes, yes and no. So first, the development of oil palm was uh, done by large agro-industries and preferentially on forest land. So, of course, oil palm can be considered as responsible for deforestation. But oil palm does not need uh, to be planted on former forests. It's just because it was the easiest way to do. Uh, you can plant oil palm on savannas, as in Colombia, you can plant oil palm on degraded land, so you have lots of ways to do. So oil palm per se as a crop is not responsible for deforestation. So it's, 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 what, it's our major take home message in the book is don't, don't confuse the crop and the people who develop it. Again, there's a, the, the answer is, uh, is mixed and needs a, ba needs a balanced answer. Um, in most places where oil palm has been developed, uh, all the people who adopted oil palm uh, really were lifted out of poverty. The problem is in many uh, forested areas, uh, once oil palm has been developed, uh, before even the plantation started producing, the people sold their land just for quick cash. 
and a few years later uh, they were left without plantation, without land, without money. And then, of course, uh, in that case, uh, they were not lifted out of poverty, but they were forced into poverty. But it was, as the company say, it's, it was their choice. Yeah? But uh, Olpan is, um, Olpan has this, has this um, uh, effect on uh, dif economic differentiation. The ones who keep it get richer, the ones who don't get on the train are well, left behind. Whenever you convert a primary forest into a crop, an agricultural crop or even a forestry a plantation, the result is the same. It's an ecological disaster. You replace uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, diverse plants by one crop. So yes, it is a disaster from the biodiversity point of view to convert forest into something else. But convert it into oil palm, soybean, or acacia mengium, uh, the problem is the same. So again, oil palm is not responsible as a crop. Oil palm is a, is a forest plant, so uh, it, it in, in the start it was just, uh, it was just uh, collected uh, in the wild. Uh, then it was progressively introduced in the agricultural sphere by the people and in different ways. Huh? You don't need to, uh, to, to use monoculture. You can do it in an agroforestry kind of way. You can also mix it, mix all palm plantations in um, diverse landscape, in a mosaic landscape. And of course, you can use it in, a, in an environmental friendly way. The idea is not to convert huge stretches of forest into one monocrop, but, but do it uh, in a more ec ecologically, in a more environmentally friendly way. We try to promote in Cameroon and uh, hopefully in Central Africa, we try to promote um, sustainable development of oil palm. Therefore, we help the Ministry of Agriculture to draft a national strategy for sustainable uh, development uh, of oil palm. That's, that's one thing. Uh, in this, uh, we also try to, we, to push, uh, to introduce uh, the, uh, the smallholder, uh, the smallholder agenda, how in, in a certain way to um, not to, not to oblige, but to convince agro-industries that they have an advantage, would be advantages for them to, uh, to organize um, equitable win-win uh, um, outgrower schemes. And so that's, uh, that's our next, uh, that's our present goal. The idea being that if you develop oil palm on already cleared land owned by communities or private planters, uh, it's, always, it's that much of land which will not be taken from uh, primary forest.